G'day, welcome back. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to take this defocus effect from looking like this and make it look like this, which is a much more pleasing and natural look when it comes to using that OFX. So the other week we were talking about how to do DaVinci Resolve's 19 OFX defocus background trick. Today, I'm gonna to show you a better way to do it to get a much more pleasing result. So this came about from a comment, which I'll put up here below. It's basically saying we should be working in a Lydian space not in a log space when doing that effect because we're going to get better results when it comes to our gradient from dark to brightness or from dark to light. So I'm going to show you how to do it. It's a really simple trick and it's really going to help making that effect look a little less like this character here is hanging out in the green screen and look more like it's an actual lens doing that defocused background. So first of all, let's go through the node tree. It's really simple. Not much is going on. We have a color space transform here. So this is Blackmagic 6K footage. So uh, input, of course, Blackmagic Design, Wide Gamut, 4 to 5. Input Gamma, Blackmagic Design, Pocket 6K Film, Gen 4. Output Color Space, DaVinci Wide Gamut. Output Gamma, DaVinci Intermediate. For our tone mapping, we have none. Now, this is going to be really important later on. So just try and keep an eye out for this. Now, for our ODT, we are using DaVinci Wide Gamut, DaVinci Intermediate, because that's what we came from. And we're outputting to Rec 709, Gamma 2.4, Tone Mapping Method, we're doing Luminance Mapping, and we're putting our Max Input all the way up. And use Custom Max Output, we just click this button like this, and Saturation Compression. So there's our settings for our Color Space Transform. Now, not much is really going on with this footage here. We're just using a LUT here, which I created. So this is our image prior to that LUT. And that's our image after we put that LUT on. So we have a nice looking image, nice starting image. We'd want to go and do some other secondary adjustments, but this is a good point to start with, with our OFX. So let's get to a nice frame here. So let's just say somewhere around here looks pretty good. We have nice light coming in, a little bit of shadows. Everything looks like it's going to be good when it comes to that effect. So what we can do is turn the effect on. I've already done it. Now, obviously the track has fallen off, so I guess I haven't done it. But if you don't know where the effect is, just come up to your OFX here and then just type in D and it'll come up with the D focus background. But we already have it on. Now you want to go to your little uh, magic mask here. Make sure you get the qualifier on and just make a selection. We can get rid of this actually. Make this a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. Okay, so now we have a pretty poxy selection, but this isn't about how to use the D focus one, how to get a nice selection. This is about how to make our background look a lot more natural. What we're gonna do, we're gonna save a still from this one so we can compare them side by side afterwards. So Control Alt G, that's gonna save a still into our gallery, or you can just go up to color, stills, and then grab still. We have that still, so we don't have to worry about that. So this is what it's gonna look like when we haven't done that linear adjustment to our grade. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna make another node after our OFX here, so Alt S to make a serial. And this one here for our color space transform, we're gonna go, let's just make this a little bit bigger. In our output gamma, we're gonna go into linear. Now your image is gonna look really horrible, but that is okay, because we can work around this. Now for our empty node here, we're gonna put a color space transform on. Now we're going from linear, so input gamma, we want to be in linear. And for our output gamma, we want to go back to DaVinci Intermediate. Now, it still looks really terrible. So what we need to do, we need to go back to our first color space transform. I mean, you could have done this before, but I'm trying to be dramatic here. And in our first node here, for our color space transform, tone mapping method, we want to choose DaVinci. Now, that is going to put everything in a nice place. We haven't got those crazy artifacts that we had before. Now, if we look at our image on our big screen, what we have here is our image before we've done that linear change using those nodes. And as you can see, it looks really flat. It looks like she's hanging out on a green screen. Doesn't look like she's actually hanging out on her farm. So doesn't look great. It looks like everything is basically mushed together. Like that focus, it just has no focus, if that makes sense. It doesn't look natural. But when we go across to our linear one, we have a much more pleasing result. So if we look at our light here and our darker areas, again, we have that really nice gradient. So we go back to our old one, looks really flat. It doesn't look good at all. And then we go to this one, 
now we have that light and it's blooming and it looks like it has been shot by lens. It doesn't look like it's been done in OFX in post. So this is really great. So I just wanna say a quick thank you to the person who commented below. This is their comment again. If there's anything you ever wanna see or anything that you would like me to investigate, please comment below. Any opinion is always welcome. I have no problem reading any comment about anything, to be honest. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this is something that you would use when it comes to your grading. I really do feel like this is the only proper option when it comes to using that defocus. Now, I haven't done it using the uh, depth mask yet, but that is something I'll have to look at and see if I can play around, see if anything else can come out of using that defocus background. But I think with this one, because she's moving through the space, I don't really need to use that OFX. But let me know in the comments below, is this something that you're gonna change when it comes to using that defocus background or would you just not use that OFX at all? Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. I've been Drew from Haiti Films and thanks again.